We are here with the beautiful Erica Ash from Gina the Joneses. How are you tonight? I'm so good. It's great to meet you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. So congratulations on this new movie. Thank tell you. me, I understand you're the baby. I'm you play the role of the baby of the family. Yeah. So tell me about this role and uh, how this all came about. Well, it's so very interesting. My um, my lawyer actually sent me the script because he represents Stella McGee as well. And as soon as I read it, I said, I have to be a part of this. It was so fresh and new. And it was just a great representation of black women, even though they were having their, their troubles and their strife in the family. I just thought it was just a, such a fresh perspective. And I just wanted to be a part of making it come to life. And I loved the character because she was, you know, she was she was complicated and simple all at the same time. Like she had this really kooky family, but she embraced it because it's sort of all she knows. And she's working her way through and trying to figure out life and love just like her niece, you know. And so they're kind of more like sisters than niece and aunt. And and it's just, I, I thought it was really funny. Yeah. Now you have a, a group of strong black women. Yes. So tell me about the cast chemistry and you all being able to embody those roles. Well, you know, each of the people who were chosen um, were very strong strong actors like separately like aside from this and all of us have um, a great resume that we came with and so I think that we were all trusted to just do our job and Stella did a really really great job of giving us the freedom to be able to find the characters based on our own um, treasure trove of, of, of work that we had done and draw from that and she served more to sort of orchestrate it and keep everybody together rather than kind of tell us exactly where to go. I think it was more of an exploration for her as it was for us and that's what the script is so it all worked together. It was really yummy. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you going in this acting world? Writing? You know what? It's just being creative. Being able to create and being able to have the opportunity to create work for talented individuals is everyone here. Everybody's beautiful, everybody's talented and everybody needs the opportunity and we need more voices in the writing room to create more black opportunities, more Latino opportunities um, to get on the screen. Uh, as we've had major issues with diversity. So I think it starts from the production up. So if we don't have any black writers, black directors, black any a black executive making decisions, then we kind of just leave, we're just left out there to take whatever is given. Reality TV gives an actor other avenues because as an actress we are so limited because we're black and there aren't that many movies being made for and about black women and the few that come out we're all jumping on it and beating each other down trying to get that one part and it's not fair to us so for me to feed my child I had to diversify and diversifying means not being afraid to jump into the reality game or rap or sing or write I want to write Fearless. I want to. I want to simply fearless. I want to pimp. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Don't pimp nobody. <laughs> so, what brings you here to Gene of the Joneses uh, premiere? I just wanted to support TV One in terms of its great efforts and all the good things it's doing in terms of our culture, and um, I just here to support. It. And now the last time um, I met up with you, you were doing um, promo surrounding your uh, movie, your documentary, Dark Girls. What was the feedback that you gained from that uh, documentary? I, th I think the most important thing for me was the all the women who came up to us and said it was a healing process for them because they had never talked about colorism or what it's done to them over since they were born. and. To see them stand up and talk about it and say it, it really helped them in terms of clearing their souls was wonderful. Los Angeles sent to them, y'all go. When I was homeless and I was lonely, I had the Los Angeles Sentinel. Hey, what's up? It's Alan Maldonado, a.k.a. Maldonado is everywhere. And shout out to the L.A. Los Angeles Sentinel. Hi, I'm Erica Ash, and this is the Los Angeles Sentinel.